seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and what will happen? And all these things shall be what? Added unto you. See, when you choose God over mammon, God says, while you're seeking me, uh, the things that you're, that you're needing will be added to you. They'll be added to you. Seek God and the things you need shall be added to you. Seek God and the things you need shall be added to you. You know what? We've allowed mammon to turn that around. Mammon says, seek ways to get the things that you need. And then if you have time, seek God. And if you look at most of our country, that's where it's coming. We're seeking all of the ways for us to get the things that we need. And guess what? God's taking a back seat. That's the whole point of mammon, to try to get God out of the front seat into the back seat. And I'm telling you, we're not going to let that happen. Amen. Amen. God is not only going to be in our front seat, but he's going to be doing the driving. Amen. See, the, the perversion of all of that is this that God never created you to pursue things. God created you to pursue him, and while you're pursuing God, things will pursue you. See, things are supposed to pursue you. Don't get into sweating like a sinner to pursue things. God has made it where the stuff will be coming after you instead of you coming after the stuff. See. When you seek God, you'll attract things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when you seek things, you'll attract trouble. I don't know about you, but I'm seeking God. I am in pursuit of God. Hey, somebody says, well, you don't understand. My house knows do. I'm going to seek God. I'm going to pursue God. You don't understand, man. They told me if I don't have the money by next week, I'm going to have to close my business. You know what? I'm going to seek God because the system was created for things to pursue those who pursue God. We, we are people that will pursue God. Amen. We are people who will go after God. And if you go after God, things will go after you. Let me say this. Let me let you in on something. You are a money magnet. Uh, now, that woke you up then. What? <laughs> you are a money magnet. You will attract those things to you, praise the Lord. Don't ever, uh, don't, don't let it be said that a Christian's out pursuing things. Hallelujah. Pursue God. Well, what happened to brother such and so? Remember we prayed for him to get this job and he got the promotion on the job and they made him the head and, and all these kind of things. Well, where is he? Well, you know, he's working all the time. Look, dude, uh-uh. Here's the deal. I work for this company as long as you understand that when church time come, I got to be at church. I got to pursue God. See, because before y'all gave me this job, it was only God holding me up. Hallelujah. Now, I'm not going to leave God now that I got the job. Uh-uh. Now, y'all got to understand that I'm anointed, and as long as I'm here, y'all going to be blessed because I'm here, I'm here and I'm blessed. So you need to understand, you need to keep me where I can stay blessed so you can stay blessed. So it is, it is to your advantage to not ever make me work on Sunday. Because while we're pursuing God, those things will be pursuing us. If you understand that, say amen. amen. 